J.D. Crow has been one of my favorite banjo players since I was a teenager uh, and just learning to play banjo. Uh, I spent a lot of time learning his solos and his backup and trying to be like him. And I remember reading uh, an interview where he said, you can't beat a man at his own game. And I think that's when I began to realize that I couldn't play just like J.D. But I've still always found it an incredible exercise to learn his solos and the way he thought about the neck of the banjo and the, and the right hand of the banjo. Uh, one of my favorite uh, JD licks, it's hard to pick a favorite because there are so many great ones, uh, is one he played at the end of his solo on Sugar Coated Love live in Japan. Um, it's just an amazing, the whole solo is amazing and his tone up the neck is, is unmatchable. But uh, he, the, at the end of the solo, he went. Right? That's a great solo. That's a great lick. Um, let me see if I can do it again. That's a great one. I love that one. And then there's another one that I love off of a live recording, and it's at the end of You Don't Know My Mind, and I've used this lick a lot in my life, especially when playing You Don't Know My Mind. Super fun lick. So he, instead of going, he went. and match that with a lot of other licks. Anyway, those are some of my favorite uh, moments of listening to J.D. Crow.